So there's a lot of ways for us to load input variables. We just saw two. So we saw Terraform TFRs and uh, environment variables, but there's a lot more uh, caveats to this. So let's just run through them. So we already covered uh, Terraform.TFRs. The idea here is that if you create this file and it's in your project, it will automatically be loaded when running Terraform apply. You can name other TFR files. Uh, so I just call them these additional TFR files, but they won't be loaded by default. You'll have to use a command line to load them. This is useful if you have like a dev and prod environment and you want to uh, swap those out. Now, if you want to have um, files that auto load, then you can just put the dot auto here and give it any name you want. This would be useful if let's say you had a very large Terraform TFRs file and you wanted to break it up to make it more human readable, uh, you could do that. Then you have the hyphen var file uh, flag when you're doing Terraform apply or or plan, and this is actually how you load up these additional variable files. If you need to override a single value, you can use hyphen var. So here I'm overriding the EC2 type to be T2 medium. And then lastly here we have environment variables. We covered this, this is where it starts with TF underscore var underscore followed by the name. And this is going to be very common when you are using uh, code build servers or run times to uh, run this in a CI CD automated way. Now there's a precedence to which these get loaded, meaning that uh, that certain uh, configurations of variable or input of variables will override other ones. So as we go down this list, these ones will override the previous ones. So at the top, you have environment variables. If you have a Terraform TFRs file, that will override the environment variables. Uh, if you have the JSON one, that will override that one. If you have auto files, that will override the default uh, TFRs file. And then on the last list, you have hyphen var and hyphen var file will override the rest. So there you go. Uh, in terms of the exam, uh, they're not going to ask you the precedence here, but you're going to need to know what var, var file are, environment variables are, and this default one, okay?